Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. This is Five in One Day, a shelved project I began last year and then didn't finish. The initial idea was to try and make five very small, um, sort of strict Doom 2 maps within a 24 hour period. I managed to make three complete ones, started the fourth and then ran out of time because uh, I had to make dinner, you know? got to eat. A girl's got to eat. So I'm just going to have a look at them because I haven't looked at them since I made them last year, which I think was sometime in August or September. Um, yeah, I'm just going to see what they're like. I'm just playing in GZ Doom so I can just easily read the map names. This is Firewall, map one. 21 baddies, three secrets. Just because I just threw it together, um, just using uh, map info. And uh, yeah, didn't actually do them properly using dehacked or anything, but it's yeah all Doom 2 textures, nothing custom at all except there's a <laughs> there's a gravestone there for some reason, which I think is probably the red pillar or green pillar. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Uh oh, I hear a door opening. Ah oh, yeah, give me that. Splat. Whoa, whoa. I punched so hard I turned myself around. Uh, oh, yep. Secret behind here. Let me in. Let me in the secret wall. Give me the chain gun, baby. So this is a very small, obviously, uh, not a tech base, a hell base. I just really felt like using the red brick texture because it's so nice and cozy. It must have been a cold day and I just felt like warming up, uh, literally and figuratively, warming up my mapping project with some red brick. No, not you, Chainsaw. Give me that. I think we've woken some baddies up. Yes, we have. Oh. Now it's... It's not a, well, difficult map, but because everything is so compact. Whoa. Which is kind of a carrying theme in all three of these completed maps, and indeed the start of the fourth, where you've got a, um, I guess around... somewhere from 20 to high 40s in terms of monster count. A couple of secrets, which, yep, I've got them all. And, um, yeah, but in a very compact space. Which may sound like easy, an easy sort of feat considering the monster count, but when you're all squished together like that, it ain't exactly easy. Oh, just. And I think they're all Jimmy Middies, which I think was from Dial Up for Murder or s one of. Yeah, something like that. Okay, got to try and kill that shotgunner in one hit or else he'll get all up in your shit. Okay. Who's glowing around the corner? It's you. Got some stairs. Okay. So, Uh-oh, I think that's a chain gun. Uh, cool. Grab the key, shoot the button. So this really quite helped me rein in certain ideas and mapping principles because of the size limitations I was giving myself and the time too. Run! Come on, chain gunner. Chain gunners. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can easily get overwhelmed by a gigantic pile of imps. Chain gunners too do not help. Take that bloke out. Oh yeah, backpack. Cool. All right. Oh, uh, I think I'll escape up here. Shit! No. <laughs> Clear a path. Circulate. Ooh. 
So that nearly went pretty wrong. Pretty wrong indeed. Holy heck. No. It's those bone boys. Shittington. Right, so this is Starling. 60 monsters. So a sizable chunk for such a small map. Oh, yep. But yeah, it was a really fun experience giving myself a project and trying to stick to it with some very basic fundamental rules. Oh, actually, before I do that, I want to get another secret. That's now opened up. Sweet. Wee. Yeah, I really liked it. I do want to finish this off. I had the basic premise for map number four, which was pretty straightforward. Map five, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about. Okay, we're now sealed in. Take care of you guys. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, almost didn't make it behind the post. Ow. Oh. Got to be careful when dodging fireballs, because... Whoa, what the... I do not remember doing that. Damn. Oh, it must have been another teleport line. Friggin' hell. Okay, that was scary. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Ooh. That's got some bite to it. These maps can be, yeah, they're pretty spicy. Okay, map three, coagulant. Just the last one. Last altogether one. I'll just reset the map. Okay. Now we get a rocket launcher straight away, but I think there's also a berserk that you've really got to try and push to find. Ah, there it is. Okay. Not too much pushing required. At least they're in fighting. Yeah, the old, um, forced rocket launcher trick. That was a waste of a rocket, but that's okay. <laughs> I was just trying to mess around with just combinations of different textures, trying to make it a bit different in each map as well. I think this one was the most fun to make, and it came to me a lot quicker than some of the other ones did. I want that mega sphere? I'm going to do a bit of save scumming here. Bastard. Because I think unless you're really good with your runny jumps, you can't get onto that platform for the switch. That's just a secret, it's not for progression. But what I figured out was <laughs> rocket jump it is, because you're going to get a mega sphere. So. No. And that lava is really damaging too. Oh, I almost had it. Yep. Oh, that was close. Okay. Um. Mm. I, mm. I was gonna say I'll try and punch where I can. There are more rockets there though. Oh, that's open. Of course, that's open. I've trapped myself today. Oh, there's the exit. <laughs> And a blur sphere. Yeah. Oh, of course, the cacodemon already used the teleport line. <laughs> See, I didn't think this opened up until you dealt with the Hell Knights, but obviously that's just another way of just getting some more ammo. And killing them now instead of killing them at the end. I don't want to punch this caco. I'll punch the other guys. Come on. Oh, what am I doing? Ugh, now he's getting too close. Idiot. Excellent. I've got some health. Ah, uh, bloody wall. Okay, cool. <laughs> We're gonna need that. 
Okay, get around, get around, get around. Watch out for the spectres, of course. Whoa. Vicious. Of course. They couldn't see me properly. <laughs> Ow! You gonna come out? Oh, I have to go and do it again. That's alright. Here we go. Bloosh. And that's... That's everything. Exit Majig. Map 4, Haven. Not finished, this one. Okay. Cool. Get into here. Ow. Whoa! I think I must have a really short attention span. Sometimes. Not always. So when it comes to maps, I think I really need to make ones that are really short, but like really spicy, or just full of a certain concept that's really fills in the, the need for a big level. So I really quite like this one actually. So you start on the platform, this lowers as well. You get the shotgun swamped by imps. And then the idea is, I guess there's a switch in here, which lowers one of the keys and weapons. Knowing me, probably rocket launcher first with the red key. I oh, yep. Yeah because that's the first one. And then another button lowers the blue key and the plasma, more sort of monsters to deal with. Things will just open up and up more and more. Different texture themes in each. And then finally the yellow one, you'll get the yellow key, supercharge, and some sort of nasty baddie. Possibly a cyber in this really small space, but you'll have the plasma to deal with him. Or maybe even a spider mama, because I usually don't use them at all. Hmm, perhaps that's what I shall do. Anyways, let's scooch our way out. So the start and end of the map was finished, and the general idea as to how you're going to get there, but just all the stages in between haven't been done. Perhaps I shall give myself an hour or so, a couple of hours, to finish it off, and then think of what map 5 should be. And then, yeah, I guess just tie up a, a little fun probably less than 10 minutes to play ward hmm cool five in one day although it won't be <laughs> and the waste tunnels cool so that is just yet another shelved project what i have gone and had a look at and shared with peeps i do intend to finish stuff off just got to get there eventually got to find the time but thanks for joining me thanks for watching See you later. Eduardo and friends.